Hello Slinkinators! Slinky Josh here. Today I'm going to be teaching you what was actually the first Slinky trick I ever learned. It's a simple hand-to-hand -hand transfer. Now the way I initially learned this move was to keep the top hand on the Slinky as it falls. Now this requires you to move your top hand pretty quickly because you don't want to restrict the motion of the Slinky at all. You just want to follow it as it falls through the air. Uh, however, I think it looks cooler if you just allow it to fall out of one hand into the other. So that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys. To do the hand-to-hand -hand transfer, you first need to grip the slinky so that all of your fingers are flush with the sides of the slinky. You want to be holding it just like this. Now to do that, just place the slinky flat in the palm of your hand, move all your fingers up, and press your fingers into the slinky like so. The next thing you're going to do is one by one, you're gonna let each of these coils fall down from the slinky. One by one, so just give that a try right now. Try letting the coils fall one by one out of your hand. You're gonna to wanna to try this slowly at first uh, because making sure that the coils fall one by one as opposed to all at once is the trick to making the slinky shoot through the air like an energy beam. So go ahead. Give this a try a little bit faster now. Let the slinky just fall out of your hand and catch it with the bottom one, okay? Now you'll probably find that the slinky tends to bounce out of your hand when you try to catch it. Uh, initially, I avoided this problem by leaving the top hand on the slinky. However, we're gonna tackle this problem head on. What we're gonna do is right when the top coil slams down on the rest of the slinky, we're gonna move our bottom hand down just a centimeter or so to cushion the impact, okay? And you want to try to grab the slinky when it lands in your bottom hand with the same grip that we used to release the slinky, okay? So you wanna aim for the center of your palm right here so that your fingers can come right up and latch onto it for the next transfer. Now being able to catch the slinky this cleanly is not going to happen overnight. It took me months of practicing for just a few minutes each day in order to master this move. If your slinky fits on your wrist like mine does, take it with you everywhere. Practice everywhere you go. People will ask you about it and then you can tell them all about the new art of slinky manipulation. Thank you guys so much for watching and staying subscribed. I just passed 140 subscribers, and to say thank you, I'm going to be giving away three Slinkies exactly like this one. They are black light reactive, they're durable, and they make a great fashion accessory. I'll be giving them away one week from today. To enter, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, go on Facebook, like Slinky Josh. Ask to join the group Slinky Manipulators of Planet Earth, where you'll be able to share videos of your Slinky progress with people from around the world. And then share this video publicly on your Facebook page and tag three of your friends. In a week, I'll be picking three people, and I will send you a Slinky just like this wherever you are on Earth. Thanks for watching, everybody, and Slink on!